Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Just need to double check if we actually were recording it. Welcome back to what would be episode 9 of our XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen modded playthrough. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while since I've recorded. Because I, I tend to pre record these videos, like, a bunch of these are all recorded, like, mid February, pretty much. Not long after the first episode was posted. And, uh,. Yeah, like, I've, I've changed up the, the music a bit, because I'm, I'm feeling the good old XCOM nostalgic music that was actually from when I played XCOM. I've, I've listened enough to the really old before my time soundtrack, and uh, yeah, so a little bit of a change to the atmosphere, but uh, nevertheless, the troops are still the same, and uh, you know, so is the war. We gotta go and blap some people in a Operation Iron Witch. And we are sending in Noble Team. So, uh, let's see how they all do. We're moving in for an emergency extraction of a VIP working for the Resistance. The spokesman provided the coordinates, but the rest is up to us. Locate the VIP and escort them out of the area safely. It goes without saying, but don't leave any hostiles standing. And what if we do central her? What if we leave some hostiles standing? I mean, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't matter. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Haha. Uh -huh. That's what you think. But, uh, in fact, we've got ourselves a shinobi, our uh, Emil. So, he shall be our faithful scout ahead. And um, would you look at that? We have ourselves a little dip in the stairs. Um, and, <sighs> sorry, it's a little bit late at night when I'm recording. Um, all right, well, we've got two... Two ladders here. How the hell are we getting up? Oh, I don't think that's a ladder. Huh. Interesting. I don't actually see a way to get up there. There's a pipeline here, but that's like all the way on the other side. I don't know. We shall see how we'll be getting into that final building. We have 18 turns, so, you know, a decent amount of time. To position. Let's just run Tiger up here. Got some advent here. Oh bloody hell. Well, that didn't take long. Great. They've all taken high cover. Because of course they have Emil, uh, Jeanne. Who can you bop? Interesting. Uh, oh. You can see someone. George. I need you to get into cover here. Formation's too tight. Loosen up. And I need you to suppress that stun lancer. I think that's what you'll be doing. Uh, that is one tile away. All right, we'll. Nice and steady. We'll move car here. Hmm. I don't like the fact that we're in half cover though. And we're next to a car. I remember there was three of them. But yeah, I think a flashbang is in order here. So we'll flash these Fire two. The cool. And then. We might let Tiger take a shot. Uh, let's sprint in to cover over here and with Alice. Nice, and we didn't reveal anyone else. Uh, and Emil can come up here to do some scouting. Ok, 
Okay. So, all right, let's rapid targeting the sentry. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and let's give the first shot to Tiger here. 44% chance to hit. Alright, a graze. Maybe a flesh wound. Not terrible. Um, I think we'll take our suppression here on the stun lancer. And we shall take the 61% here. Jeanne in the open, but I think it's a calculated risk. Wow. Well, that's the way to do it. I'm hoping I did not miscalculate. Because my error was calculated. <laughs> Boy, my bad. Maths is here. Oh, shit. Oh, double shit. A new world awaits. Can enter Overwatch upon ending their turn. This does not trigger Overwatch. Easy to hit from high ground and Templar. Ay ay ay. But you will never see it. Sounds like that chosen is headed. Keep your guard up and your eyes peeled. There is a trooper here. How can he see us? Okay. That's not a flank, really. Ah, uh, Tigger, Tigger, Tigger. Nope. 54% actually really isn't that bad. I think I need to... Actually, hold on. Jun. Here, yeah, take your... Take your 50%, mate. Oh, actually... Wait, he hunkered down. Wow. I'm surprised. I've never seen that. Okay. I'll tell you what. The more sensible play is to have Carter here take the 54 as it's a better chance. And if he hits this... Brilliant. If the elders had expected more, then I wouldn't be here. And now we can get Jun up here. So, he's in high cover, and he has an even better chance to hit. Uh, and we'll keep moving Emil forwards to scout for us. Okay, we look all clear for now. We could send a rocket that way. Full auto fire. Nah. There's not a lot of point to this. What we could do. Is move up. Move up to here. I am so thankful to the captain for granting me a body. 39% chance. Well, might as well take it. Excellent. Good shooting. Yeah, and that's a 0%. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to play a bit more aggressive because we know there's nothing in the immediate vicinity. And we're going to move Tiger to here. Out. And he's going to overwatch. Um, ah, crap. George doesn't have the mobility. Okay. George can reload. And he can suppress the stun lancer. Well, just move that. We'll move Wild Child up to here. And let's see. Ah, miss. Bollocks. It's still moving. Gross. Ha! Oh, but he missed too. Whoa! They're on the move. All right. That could have been considerably worse for us. Hmm. Why did that go to there? There's no way the assassin is already there, right? Depend on it. A 
Okay. Well, I suppose. Have your shotgun. Nice. A good ending to their bad intentions. Easily replaced. Okay. Repositioning. All right, Jean is in prime position, and he will steady himself for a shot. Okay. We'll move Emil this way. Is there anything over here? Nope. And if I was to drop down to here, do you see anything? Contacts. Oh, you see a lot. These a muton. Seem a little more agile than the ones we fought in the past. It looks like they're still serving as the aliens' front line. Jesus though. Christ, how are we fighting mutons already? This is like way too early. On the move. But at least we have the scouting, which is good. Rock and roll. Okay. Could be worse. 16 turns. We've killed a pod already. And we have good intel on the majority of all the other enemies. Minus. Huh. No clue why that blew up. Oh, and actually... Are they all three? Mm, blokes. Ah, they spotted us. Oh no, they didn't. There will be no escape. Oh, wow. The elders propose an exchange. Your lives, your resistance must end. And in return, this world is mine. I will she spot your return to capture Emil? the commander. Consider yourself lucky. You won't suffer long by my hand. It's one of the elders chosen. How is Emil not revealed? <laughs> It just works, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, we suffered a crash. But uh, this is fine because auto saves exist. And so we are, in fact, back over here. Um, so I guess I'll try to play this as similarly as I did last time. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably end up cutting out the that gameplay. But, yeah, like, I'll try to make it a smoother transition to here. But essentially, I just tried to blow the crap out of this assassin. And expose her. So, there we go. That was that for... Wait, did I hit Emil? Okay, no, I didn't. Because I was going to say, otherwise, that didn't happen. And then if I'm right in saying I ran Carter up to here Yeah to here. We keep moving. And then I yeeted yet another grenade towards the assassin. Drag out. And then A cowardly strike. I had Cat also fire her grenade, and hopefully, if this is like accurate to last time, this should blow up the assassin's I cover. Didn't know the world could be this. Did it blow up the assassin's? Well, okay. Last time that blew up the assassin's cover, but I guess I'll just have to stick to it then. What critical strike? Seven damage. Not bad. That will not be enough to stop me. Oh, actually, I can salvage the situation. Because, yeah. So now, I shall instead slash the assassin from here. <laughs> With the energy sword. Not bad. Oh, Excellent. Yes. All right. Now, though it pains me to flee from a worthy adversary, the elders will not allow me to die in this world. We will meet again. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that chosen left. 
I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. Well, yeah, that that works. But what what happened like the first time I played through this was uh, Alice blew up the assassin's cover, and then I had George come up, and he he ran to here, and then because it was a flank shot, he hit her for. I don't know, 7 or 8 damage, however many, and it put her on 4 HP again. And then Emil, I ran him to here, and then he took the shot and finished her off. So, yeah, a little bit of a, a difference, but I guess still mostly the same result. So, I guess I can't complain too much. And now, hopefully, if the rest of the aliens play the Slender same... The mutant's gonna run up there, suppress Tiger, and this sectoid, like, moved up over this way. So let's see if they're gonna do the same thing. Yeah, here comes the sectoid. Doing mind stuff. Oh, that is a successful mind control. Okay, George was not having a fun time, uh, Emil wasn't having a fun time, but, uh, yeah, it's fine. Formation's too tight, loosen up! I'll use their own... Sh well, not really. I'm not gonna use their own strengths, I'm gonna use our strengths and take them back. There we go. Now that the mind control is lost, you're gonna go and chop up some sectoid sushi. Really? We rolled low. Because of course we did. What else could have happened, eh? Well, take your 30%, buddy. Swing and a miss. Alice, run up here. Take your shot. 40%. Another miss. May I help you with anything else? Yeah, not sucking would help. Okay, and George cannot shoot the sectoid. Nice and steady. So the next best thing nice is move up here. And overwatch in case the sectoid plans to do something like hyper aggressive. But realistically he's just gonna run back to here or here or here and like shoot Emil or something, because He's disorientated. <laughs> Alright, and let's prep for fighting this muton. Ah, crap. Alright, not bad. Alright. Oh, He's gonna overwatch, really? That's interesting. Do we have any sort of... That is most certainly something we can do. Uh, full auto fire. 43%. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try this. If uh, the game allows. 65% is quite good. But granted, I've just said that, so we're gonna miss this. Okay, never mind. You weren't expecting that, huh? Low on ammo. Uh, yeah, we'll, why not? Yeah, go on, son. Do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that happened. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that is, like, buggy or something. But nevertheless, I guess, we'll gun him down the good old-fashioned way. I get to shoot it. Um, yes. Yes, it's dead. Changing yeah, it is. Alright, we'll take a turn. Let's dig in and defend this area. To Already. reload. Scanning! Because we still got more alien buckaroos out there. So, alright, Carter, go peek over the ledge. Confirmed. 
Excellent. Good place to hold up. On your order. Affirmative. Covering now. With the power given to me, we move. By all the explosives we had, that assassin fell quite comfortably before there was any serious nice. damage. We just got really lucky that Emil was in the right place. Will do, sir. Oh, we have enemies. And more loot. Oh, All right. I forgot about these guys. Okay. Oh, well, these guys are prime flashbang targets. I think we need to, because that rocketeer, if he fires a rocket at us, we will not like it at all. Okay, that's dealt with. Right, uh, George needs to reload. Need a new mag. So he can reload, and you can overwatch. And Alice so can run up. The captain for granting me a and reload as well. Cool. We'll move Wild Child into full cover down over here. Just slowly making our way towards Evac. Oh crap, there's two Rocketeers, really? Oh. There goes Emil's armor. Alright. Kill this stupid bastard. Okay, nice. They didn't get a chance to move on us. 76. I am going to need to trust Jun to do something useful in his life. Granted, he has hit two crits, but they haven't really been at the most key times. Although, I guess on the, on the assassin, that crit was quite clutch. So, right, I'll let him off. Yeah. To be expected. Don't bunch up. Let's get Carter here. Oh, you're bunching up Carter, don't you worry. Or you can finish him off, but I'm more so interested in... Uh... See, none of those options look too tempting. George, your mobility is terrible. Oh, no, it's because of Cap. So she can run up here. Can she get fire on him? No. So guess what? <laughs> More flashbang. The captain always finds a way. And they are, in fact, the last enemies. So what we'll do is we'll run we'll George up here on a flanking mission. Reloading. And so he's at a the fire zone, and let's see, we can get George up here now, can't we? Yeah. Cool. Oh, very useful. Area suppression. I'll keep them pinned. So these guys should be like completely handicapped. No longer. On the move. Might as well move here to have a crack. Yeah, have a crack at him, why not? Unlucky? Come on! <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, he actually hit something with the suppression. I am shocked. This accurate against targets in covering consumes all the remaining ammo. That's thirty-three percent chance to destroy to destroy cover. Right. I think because of that, this can be quite useful. But I I don't think we need to use it. I think that's overkill. Because yeah, our uh, Emil here can come and cut him down. He's not dead. Yeah, now bleed. 
they can dodge that? Seriously? I did not expect this. If we come here, though, I think it only counts as low cover, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Wait, low cover's 30? I did not know this. I could set him on fire, but I think I'm gonna have to trust this a bit more. Okay. This guy is slippery. But you know what? He's also dead. Conjuring. Boom! More grazes. <laughs> that was really a headshot if you grazed him, pal. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Alright, okay. Keep up the pace. I think we're all done here. So uh, we'll start moving a bit more bravely. Heading out. Famous last words. Let's do this. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, not too bad. That could have gone a lot worse. I don't think we have any injuries. Because, uh, yeah, they got through Emil's Solid body armor, commander. but... Oh no, they didn't. They got through his ceramic vest. They didn't get through the nano fiber thing. I don't remember its name, as it's it's been a while since I played. But, yeah. What's the rush? They, they got through the two armor but they didn't get through the 2 HP. So I think all of our soldiers can take 4 points of damage before they actually count as wounded. Unless it still adds the additional well, HP to up. the recovery time, which wouldn't really make a lot of sense. But it might work like this. Um, I don't know. Double time. It shall be something that I'm... Um, Confident we will find out sooner or later. Yeah, by the looks of things, now it's just on my mark. I run straight to evac. Already there. So yeah, clean mission overall. The whole Good team listening. did their part. I feel. Of course. Quite happy. Whoa. Okay. Quite dramatic. <sighs> Gotta keep moving. Alright. And let us evacuate Standing these by. people. So our VIP is secure. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Excellent news. Stay alert and keep moving. Alright, and six turns to spare. Quite comfortable. Thanks, pal. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Great job, Commander. We sent the Chosen back to their masters with a few scars to show for their effort. If they decide to face us again, we'll be ready. Damn straight we will. Oh, wow. That is a considerable bonus, 96 intel. Awesome. Alright. At least, the good news is... Is that, uh... <laughs> Cat isn't here to shoot Jishun. Which is, you know, always... Always a good thing. To be completely honest with you. But yeah, uh, one, I was thinking, and I think I'm gonna switch over, at least for the, the gameplay segment. I think, well, I'll wait for this guy to finish. To let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the Elders for their support in ending this menace once and for all. Well, yeah, uh, I was thinking uh, I might actually end up having no commentary over the actual gameplay segment. And I might have some commentary during, like, the base building, just so you guys... 
like know my thought processes in terms of why I'm doing like what back at base and just how I'm thinking of taking things but yeah I think the, for the actual gameplay like in the battlefield I might just let that be quite natural and just have the game speak for itself as you know I think I'm not really explaining too much of what's going on I'm just kind of speaking my own thoughts but my thoughts shortly turn into this just goes to my actions that the chosen are vulnerable and we can take them down we just have to figure out how to keep them down all right flawless performance by the team very good job oh all right I think I know who I'm giving this to oh we got ourselves a great a badass here Delirium core and advanced scope. Advanced delirium coating. I don't know how to put these items onto our weapons though. Uh, I might have to research something. Or maybe build the proving ground. I'm not sure how to use these. I might have to research this. Because, you know, plus 15 to aim is something that I want to be using on my weapons. Alright, and a corporal who's an assault. Not bad. I'll have to uh, dress this character appropriately and see where she'll be going. Um, I don't see the promotion. Ah, here. They are, in fact, our most... I don't most... know where people are getting those damn advent burgers, but if I find another rapper stuffed under one of these command consoles, there's gonna be hell to pay. <laughs> Nice. Well, I can click on these things. Oh wow, I can edit this. This is cool. Guess it comes from the assault. All right, I can I can edit all of that. That's quite cool. Fire a shot that pierces two armor and has no range penalties. Uses two ammo. Three turn cooldown. One second. Uh, electroshock disorients the target when it misses. Lightning reflexes. Close and personal. Arc pulser. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go for here. Is I think. Lightning reflexes. I'd, I'd like to go for electroshock, but I think we need someone who can clear overwatches should we need them to. And if we combine run and gun with lightning reflexes and then a trench gun shot from up close, I think that could be quite lethal. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be the play. And I'm going to dress Shivani Wildchild, which I think is a good enough uh, call sign for her. So, yeah. She's very hyped <laughs> by the looks of things. She's ready to kick some ass. She's exactly what we need. Oh, let's see how the rest of our soldiers are doing in their recovery. So, Tacops is out for 8 days. Montagna is out for 17 days. And Arbit is out for 16. So, still a while for these two. This is only a rookie our storm rider the aim i've noticed is quite low for our troopers on average like 57 for the templar 63 on the range 65 68 like when we haven't even quite broken 70 on a lot of our uh soldiers here so which is you know even more so why i'm hoping i can stop putting those plus 15 like chances to hit um, on oh resistance, Michael. Yeah, I can I need to figure out how to use those attachments at all because I hope they're not broken. Your tenacity could improve your undoing, Commander. Excellent. If you would seek a fight with me, I hope you are truly ready to match my skills. Yes, indeed. You are not fun, and she already has. 
little bit of knowledge because of the fact that she's captured one of my soldiers. And uh, how long? Resistance ring will be ready in 10 days. But I don't think we'll be able to go and rescue our soldier in just four days. Alright, we got the resistance mech. And so where did that resistance mech go to? Here. Alright, cool, cool. Not bad at all. And we got a healthy amount of int on now, actually. But we can't really make contact with anyone just yet. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. I mean, what can I do, really? Oh, combat armor is going to be ready in a day, I just saw. Okay, I think we need to prioritize here. Rather than having our engineer in here, we I want to speed the resistance ring up so I can perform the rescue operation before it is the end of... before the next supply drop. Because I think if I haven't saved the captive soldier by then... Uh, Once I regrouped, we will be seeing each other again. Yes, yes, yes. Because I think uh, if she, if the assassin holds one of my captured soldiers on the supply drop, it'll give her the next boost to the knowledge, and it'll be as if she's captured a soldier twice. Whereas if I can conduct the rescue operation before the supply drop, I think I may be able to stop that second tick. Oh wow. Whilst we were just slowly doing our time- Jesus, okay, we're finishing things up. That's quite cool. Alright, we've got some of our Alpha 9 team trained here, some more specialists. And I think they're gonna be going straight to the two main squads here. So that's a squad of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I think I want the squads to be s uh, squads of 9, is what we need. Sorry, so Lockdown is on this team, and Alpha 9 have a specialist, whereas Sanghili actually don't. Oh my. So yeah, they definitely need a specialist, and they also need a, so a sharpshooter. So that would be. Deadeye. Alright, and that is a full strength squad. An Alpha 9 can have uh, Park Hue, because the aim here is quite good. So, three squads of nine, 27 soldiers in total, and we have another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight unassigned soldiers. So, that's something along the lines of like a, an emergency squad should we need them if we don't count the one wounded guy Montagna and we have a corporal here wild child who I think can actually squad soldiers who's the assault in here ah uh, it's an ultra mm. Interesting. Okay, what we'll do... Now, oh, Caden needs to stay, because he's, uh, he's an elite. Uh, oh, wait, we don't have an assault in this team here. That is concerning. So, okay, I think Wildchild is going to Noble Team, and that is a squad of 10. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So squad soldiers by class. We we are quite diverse. The only repeats that we have are the specialists, which I deem necessary, and the technical, which is the only extra. To be honest, I don't think I'm going to include the Templar in this squad, because they, they, they don't really count in a squad. They'll be going where I need them to go, you know? It's a lone unit. So things are still relatively balanced. We just need to turn some of these rookies into a, uh, you know, actual, what's it called, like useful classes. So actually, if we were to look at 
Sankili, what do they need? They have their assault, and they have a grenadier. They have a gunner, and a ranger, sharpshooter specialist. Uh, they have a technical, so they're mostly covered. So I think Kadon needs to go in to train as the second specialist here. By the looks of things. Jesus, look at that aim. That's absolutely god awful. 57. Jesus. Well, yeah, Kadon needs to go and have some training. <laughs> so that's Sandra. And who will we train from here from Alpha 9? We have Assault, two Grenadiers, two Rangers, a Specialist. Who's Park Hugh? I want to go see who's Park Hugh. Uh no. Don Huang Hope Nope. Heimdow? Yes. Alright, so Sergei. Sergei and where's Caden? Sandra and Sergei. Are the next to train. So Sandra, yes, has a specialist, and Sergey, yes, as a sharpshooter. All right, cool. So there are next trainees, if you will. All right, oh, we're done with clearing alien debris in two days. Alright, let's also sort this out now, because we are officially full with units here, uh, with resistance members. So now, oh, our supplies are up to 340 now, and with the next supply drop, that's going to jump to, I'm thinking, probably... Seeing as how I have pretty much the same setup here, to around 500, I think. Yeah. So that should jump to about the same as that. Alright, not too bad. And then when I do this, it will be 750 credits, which is a very healthy amount of money. We have made Excellent. a number of new discoveries, Commander. Cool, so we've discovered enough of the Advent Armor to begin repurposing the outer plates into something better suited to our soldiers. The material itself seems to be the same as what the aliens utilized throughout the Avengers whole. An extremely durable substance with an unusual ambient magnetic property. As an armor component, the magnetic field surrounding these plates will actually provide additional protection against magnetic-based weaponry, most notably the Gorse weaponry commonly equipped by Advent. Poggers. So we have plated Templar armor that we can now make plated Skirmisher armor and Reaper armor. Is that it? I could have sworn that we should have been able to build like normal um, weaponry also. Uh, no, blah, blah. I'm not thinking, I'm looking at the laser weapons, but yeah. Uh, I feel like we should be able to build normal armor also, but uh, yeah. Alright, so now, I think... Advent Stun Lancer. I think we may want to do this because this will probably help with our blades. And our blades right now are kind of sucky. Because <laughs> Emil and Arbiter have been complaining to me a fair bit. So... We may want to do that. But actually, I don't know. I think laser weapons is more of a priority. Because I don't even have the proving ground yet. And I feel like that will play some kind of significant importance to the better like blades. I will make that our highest priority. I've seen members of the crew quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. If I wasn't forced to remove the chip myself, the incisions might have been cleaner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We get it. You once worked with Advent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like their burgers. Hello, we know, Commander. we know. Hello. Right. Predator armor. 30 supplies and 5 alien alloys. So that will be... I can make 7... 6... Pieces of Predator armor. And I already have one. And honestly... Ooh... Throwing knife upgrade. <laughs> Interesting. Hollow targeting effect when equipped. We could use that, but nah. AP rounds are probably going to be quite useful for our sharpshooters. <laughs> We start to see more armor targets, such as the Muton and Mechs and stuff. But alright, for the armor, I think I'm going to be building as much of this as I can. You lived in one of the colonies for a few years before linking up to Central, right? Yes, one of the advantages of working with Advent. On the surface, it was very comfortable, but there was a price for that comfort. The millions of people in those cities don't seem to mind all that much. Yes, but Advent is always watching. Between their forces and the aliens themselves, they see everything, not to mention the automated systems. There's nothing quite like providing identification to a lamppost. Hmm. Okay, so you can destroy buildings. Alright, cool. We're almost done clearing that alien debris. There we go. 75 supplies. Not bad, not bad. Alright, uh, I think, ooh, ooh, so now West Asia's up to 13 members as well, isn't it? It is. Brilliant, brilliant. So that is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on Intel, and the rest on Supply. Nice. 420, let's go. Alright, but also, this workshop is now not doing an awful lot. So let's get her out. Or him, I'm not too sure. Zalika, her. And let's get her continuing with this alien machinery to get us some more alloys. Uh, let's see. We go to the black market. Avenger plotting new I just want to go and check. Did I buy the alien alloys Target that they had? Advent stunt and balanced alloy blade stores. Guess I could sell one body, but nah, I think this is still the same. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I think buying a Chinook for 46 supplies as a corporal, that's an absolute steal. Hell yes, we do need Shinobis. Because the fact that they can stay concealed is very huge. Well, that's an absolute steal. I'm happy I looked at this. And I think it's time we got ourselves another engineer. And we can get both, actually. Another engineer and another scientist, and we'll be completely skint. But next month, we'll start getting a lot of money. So I think this is a... Uh, it's a worthwhile investment in the long run. So I'm not complaining. now. Seven days for the laser weapons. And we finally have three engineers. So we can, after we finish the resistance ring, we'll have three working on the alien machinery. Setting course for Sector 5, India. Okay, I don't want to jinx things, but I feel like for now we're managing to keep up with Advent. 
Our next operation will put us right in the middle of Chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. Sabotage the Advent Monument. So as to get Advent's attention. And we're doing this just for 25 intel? Ay ay ay. Well let's see. We may as well humor the mission, but the timer doesn't look the best. <laughs> Game, please don't crash. Okay, thank God. We could actually... If we're gonna send Alpha 9... We'll... Get rid of the rookies, because those can... Get trained up. In their own time. Alright, have a nanoscale vest, and ceramic plate, yeah it's ceramic armor, oh god, your mobility is poo poo, so rather than a grenade, you'll have a flashbang, and you get the perks of using a DMR, hammer, Got ourselves hex grid kitted, 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 kitted. So. Sucks that we can't bring the timer down a little bit more. But alas, what can you do? Superior balanced alloy blade. Okay, uh, bear with. I'm just gonna go and research whether I can actually equip these like yet yeah. and what's up with them because I have like you know 13 advanced balanced alloy blades that like that's 13 plus 10 percent to aim you know I don't really want to be missing out on this so yeah just bear with Okay, actually, from what I've just read, apparently these things, those attachments, are made for blades. So I'm gonna go and see if this is correct. We got ourselves our other shinobi. So... We give you Blade Master and Shadow Step. Oh, and you have another 10 points. You've done a hell of a job keeping hell this yeah. ship together, Doctor. It's all we've got. And I know the aliens aren't happy about losing one of their own. I doubt they thought anyone could get this heap airborne again. I'm more than happy to prove them wrong. <sighs> Customize weapon. Nope. How do I do this? Uh, weapon upgrades. Cannot equip upgrade. Okay, what if I was to give you. I cannot equip. <laughs> okay. 
I will try the Templar. See how that goes. Never mind. Storm Rider. It looks like if these things only work for you, I am not going to be impressed. I can't equip them either. What the fuck? I can. A balanced alloy blade increases that. Yeah, wow, so these are only for blades. That is very, very, very upsetting. I think... I think it was a bad idea, because they're from the thing that lets you use secondary weapons, so like, the swords as primary weapons. And clearly, the attachments are designed for the swords, and they really nerf the attachments that are for our normal soldiers, which is very... Disappointing. As I can't give my soldiers additional aim, the best thing I can do is give them a scope. It apparently makes them a little bit better at range or something. Nothing fancy or extremely useful, really. So that's upsetting. And uh, we're gonna have to infiltrate here with the a boost with intel. But it's fine. We can, uh, like, it's 20, it costs 25 intel. This mission will reward us 25 intel, and I think it costs uh, 25 intel to boost infiltration. I believe. Well, I guess if I'm boot, if I'm gonna boost it, the infiltration thing, I may as well bring. Yuri and see all right well there you go this will do nicely sweep objective conceal start your back flat in the city center yeah guess this will do may as well give out some attachments here uh, Advanced hair trigger, and uh, do I have any scopes? For you, advanced scope, increased aim at long range. Uh, yeah. I'll give you that. We don't have a gunner in this team yet, so that's a shame. What can we give you? Increased crit chance. Comes with a disadvantage aim penalty against mid to long range. Well, it's fine. We don't plan to have you far away. Cool. See ya, right? Hop into the Pelican, ladies and gentlemen, in Blast Off. Alpha Man. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Yeah, and it costs 25 intel. Okay. So yeah, I shall let them break in. Setting and I'll go continue to Indian heal. Regional zone. Oh, well. <laughs> One day in 20. Sucks that we don't get a fourth engineer. But, uh, yeah, we're fine. We don't really need that. Wow. Five days, potent wolf. We get a resistance personnel, or two, three, uh, rookie, and a resistance personnel. Okay, so that'll be a, an extra, like a healthy overstock of resistance personnel, and an extra rookie. So, not bad. And an extra mission opportunity. For West Asia. E. That's fine. I, I don't use environmental hazards just yet, because I don't have the proving grounds. Which I think should really change. But yeah, I think the game's done the right thing, which is give me the Sankhili team to send in. 
Okay. Uh, Alright then. You guys, sadly, don't get any additional HP, but uh, I don't think you guys will need it. You guys are brave. And more so, there's just a lot of you. <laughs> I guess I'll finish prepping you. I have a force and harness while you're at it. Let's see if we can get some sort of bodies. Hey, Dare. Now, you know what? I'm changing Queen's nickname to Dare because she just is Dare. Uh, actually, let's see if I can give her the torso for Dare. Ah, uh, crap. ODST there, there we go. And then left arm is just gonna be that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we'll give her the Oni, because I guess at the end of the day she is Oni, isn't she? Cool. Character info, nickname, there. Excellent, excellent. Have the DMR. There we go. Oh, I need to fix her legs. <laughs> uh, and have a med kit. Legs. Yeah, what armor pattern should she have? We'll give her. Yeah, why not? Have some dots. Alright, cool, cool. There we go. Dare is now a part of the team. Oh, and look at you. Dead eye. All nice. Ready to go. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll give you an advanced expanded magazine, an advanced hair trigger, and an advanced scope. Oh no! Uh, strip weapon upgrades. Yes, because you're using the reach sniper my friend there we go now let's give you exactly the same upgrades uh, an advanced hair trigger yeah 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 the advanced expanded magazine and the advanced scope okay and you'll have a yeah Fulton harness why not and a smoke grenade. Actually, this is... Crap, I should have given hammer. Never mind. Alright. Uh, yeah, I mean, flashbangs are the most useful thing by bug margin. Oh, actually, let's give you a... Uh, auto reload one ammo per turn to a maximum of eight. And we'll give you an advanced hair trigger. Because you're going to be firing a bunch. Let's give... Actually, we'll give Johnson the laser sight. Ah, we'll give them both laser sight, I suppose. Just to start using our attachments a bit. Uh, we'll give Sickle another superior auto loader. And an advanced hair trigger, just to hit more on those reaction shots. Let's see, do we have a scope here? We do have a scope. Uh, minor. We'll give you an ex... We'll give you a superior stock, why not? 
Alright, cool. So we can't cry. Alright, who's not coming though? We definitely need our specialist. I don't think we need both of our um Oh, who has better aim? 76. 77. Okay, so yeah. We'll take Ultra. And... We're going into a city center. So we will have good use for our sniper. We need grenades. We need our Reaper. Oh, this is difficult. Who do we drop? Because just to make sure, if we drop one, <laughs> we're almost there. What if we put away like a Fulton harness or something? That's a medkit, whoops. Would that be enough? Nope. And what if we were to put away the smoke grenade? Okay, there we go. So, could I do it with this squad? I think... Uh... I think I'm gonna take Deadeye. And I'm instead gonna put away our uh, ultra after all difficult decision but yeah i mean we still got a squad of five so yeah we'll be good all right man sankili ironically only break you know consisting of one elite this mission can go in to operation potent wolf Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Okay. Setting course for India. All right. Wow, that's a lot of targets. Three days. Mm, smash and grab. Nah, I can't do this yet. Advent strength is three here, whereas here it's only two, and here it's one. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of missions. Two days, these are on such short timers. Holy smokes! 13 days to... Very light... Attack advent counter... Insurgency ops. High alert. It's impossible to maintain concealment when the mission starts. Like, interesting. But it's concealed stuff. Huh. Yeah, this looks like a job for Noble Team indeed. Okay, uh, I think lockdown. Nah, lockdown can stay as lockdown. What do we want to give you? Oh, don't we have... We have a PCS that we want to give, don't we? Uh, yeah, we want to give depth perception. Uh, perception? No, perception. To Jean. Just to give him a bit more aim. Because, yeah. So, I think the PCS depth perception, if I remember correctly gave him like yeah five aim and reduces the enemy's dodge by 25 percent when you're at a higher target higher elevation meaning he's going to be firing at things like vipers and other enemies that have good dodge so yeah uh cats equipped 
Karte. Give you a stock and an advanced auto loader. Uh, Tiger, you can just have some. You can have a stock and an expanded mag. As can. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, she can have an expanded mag. Uh, and George, one thing I noticed he's lacking, actually, is... He needs a good hair trigger. Yeah, so we'll give him the stock, and we'll give him the hair trigger, but he could definitely do with some upgrades here to these, in terms of the percentages they provide. Uh, lockdown, let's see here, oh yeah, you can have a scope, and I think we'll leave it at that, but uh, actually, we're not done, because you need a weapon pad, oh, okay, never mind, apparently you don't get a weapon pad. Stripes actually looks quite good. I think I'm gonna give that to his armor also. That makes him almost look like a Spartan actually. I like that look. Nice. Uh, all right. I think. Don't know really what to give you, my friend. Uh, guess we'll give you a laser sight and a suppressor <laughs> but nothing really too useful okay the team is ready and uh, yeah let us go to war and this is to counter a hidden dark event and this is an air operationist slums so yeah onwards noble team In position for deployment. I mean, just look. Oh, hi. Brilliant. Okay, so now that the resistance ring is done, we need to get on the the covert action that will rescue our Time to put in some effort and improve yourself. Get training, soldier. Reward stat boost. A mobility of plus one. Eh. Eh. Recruit an engineer. You cannot find these factions yet. Risk of failure high. Brilliant. What if we were to send our two corporals? Commander. At this point, we've committed so many of our soldiers to conducting covert actions that we're running low on manpower for our own tactical operations. We'll need to recruit new forces if we're going to Still keep high. this up. Then I guess I may as well just send some random recruits. That, uh... And just work behind the scenes. But yeah, it sucks that we can't go and rescue that soldier. So I guess my followers will lead this action to victory. Hmm. All right. Let's get you in. 13 days, not bad. But yeah, look at how many missions we just got like all at once. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there probably was like another or something. It's a lot. <laughs> 
at another mission. One day. Start liberating the region. We're pretty much almost there with that. I'm kind of shocked. Holy smokes. 15 hours. And a supply raid. Crap. We do not have soldiers for this. Actually... We've got ourselves a bit of a team we can send. This could do. Uh, I'm gonna need to do this now, unfortunately. Alright, let's put away the rookie. Okay, and there we go. And let's get our people equipped. Hold on, build items, armor. And make another two. And one of those definitely goes to our Templar. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll give you the throwing. Nah, it's kind of int, because he really doesn't need it. But I guess it gives him aim somehow. So yeah, sure. Uh, and I guess our new assault here can also have the armor. Now Shinobi will just have to stay cloaked. I'm gonna have to dress these people accordingly, but for now I'm not gonna bother, I don't think. But yeah, also what is this Mike team? I guess that can stay, it's a misfit of soldiers. And we'll have to commit another 25 uh, intel to this. Oh and there's gonna be 13 to 15 enemies, Jesus Christ. This is going to be difficult. We have ourselves a technical, an assault, a rookie, <laughs> but two two corporals. I think we might maybe be able to pull this off. Maybe. What if I was to leave someone behind? What if I was to leave this rookie behind? Can we bring that down to 10 to 12? We can. Oh. What if I was to put away the Templar as well? Seven to nine. Interesting. Okay. So picture a world. Where? One, two, three. Uh, see, I don't know how much this Shinobi's really gonna do for us, man. I guess a fair bit. So yeah, 10 to 12. So that will be almost 2 to 1 odds. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're doing this. Let's go. Because we need these supplies. But that is going to be a tough mission. More tough, I think, than the... Sky Ranger deployed. The we're one the that's countering the dark event. But yeah, I mean, don't expect us to be able to respond to all of these missions. <laughs> shredder. Some enemies gain the Shredder ability to shred armor. Well, we don't even have armor, so joke's on them. Ooh, people are recovering from wounds. Brilliant news. Training's complete. A specialist and our sharpshooter. Excellent news. Alright, who are we throwing in to train now then, eh? Let's see, squad management actually. We're good here. Uh, Alpha 9 still has two recruits. So we hear them, but they're not here. Alright, what, what about. I've heard the resistance has already seen a boost in their recruitment efforts after word of the commander's arrival got around. 
They've needed a leader just as much as we have. And now they'll be expecting us to hit the aliens where it hurts. Not that I'm worried. We've got plenty of people itching to take on Advent. Things are just starting to get interesting. Okay. Mm, let's see here. Let's take a look at our rookies. We have... ourselves mercenary. What do we need, actually? What classes? We have three assaults, which is enough. One, two, three, one, two, three, four grenadiers, which is fine. Could do with another gunner. Three rangers. Still a lot of rookies. Three sharpshooters, which is enough. Two shinobis, which will do. Four, five specialists. Three technicals. I think we need another gunner. And another technical is what we need. So, Yuri, you are infiltrating. Bollocks. Okay. So, mercenary is going to be... What are you going to be? You're going to be a gunner. So, mercenary is a gunner. And buckets will be our technical. So that's Sam as a gunner and Rob as technical. Sam as a gunner, we said. And for whatever reason, why? Uh. Abby, because Bucket is on a mission. So, Krishna. Mm, don't really want to train you. What about Raider? I guess Todd shall be the technical then. Cool. Alright, we're starting to get rid of all of the um what's it called all the rookies we're starting to get the majority of them as squaddies which is you know what we want to see but all of a sudden we had a huge lack of missions and now we just have way too many the outcome of this research can only further our advances commander amen by studying the methods used by the aliens to manage energy consumption and heat dissipation in their weapons, we've built a working prototype of what we're calling a pulsed laser weapon. Although some of the troops refer to call them blasters for reasons that are obscure to me. The power we are able to put through these weapons is immense, but the system cannot maintain a continuous beam of such immense energy, so it instead relies on a series of picosecond long pulses of intense energy density to break down any chemical bonds the beam encounters. These weapons should be more accurate and do more damage on average than the ballistic weapons we have been using, although they don't quite match the firepower of the weaponry we have seen the aliens operating. Brilliant news. Don't mind if I do. I will, I will send word as soon as we have something do all the note. laser weapon research, may as well. But yeah, laser weaponry. Oh no, wait, I was in this wrong place. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. How much does this cost? Oh wow, only one of each. Crap. They need delirium. I didn't want. I did not know this, but only twenty supplies. It's a lot cheaper than I thought. All right, pretty soon. We'll be, uh, yeah, we'll be employing the laser weaponry, actually. A predator armor. <laughs> Would also be very nice. We noticed early on that the Avenger has a tendency to dip forward when the power core is under load without the engines engaged. At first, I thought maybe it was a stabilizer issue. But now I'm starting to think it's all just part of the alien's grand design. The core itself may not be entirely stable, which would explain why the aliens went through so much trouble to isolate it in the bow. 
Yeah, cool, cool. Sorry, boy, we're gonna get some alien alloys out of clearing out this alien machinery, right? We are going to get some alien alloys and some Illyrium from the supply raid. And in five days, we are going to be able to buy some Illyrium and some alloys from the black market. So we should, in theory, be able to build some stuff. We will probably be able to build a very healthy amount of laser weaponry. But as for our health, we uh, are just going to have to rely on full cover, really. There's no other way to put it. Alright, and after a pretty long time of messing around with troops and whatnot, we have finally reached our next mission, where we will have to use the boost infiltration and pay the reward. Just so we complete this mission, get some experience. But Alright, yeah, thank you for tuning in. That was quite a long one, but uh, yeah, I mean, I don't expect you guys to have watched all of it anyways, but yeah, <laughs> I guess. Till next time, brothers.